Hey guys, GhostWare38 here. Wanted to bring you another Future State video. And I'm going to be covering it, talking about the books that came out during this wave, which ones I liked, and just my general thoughts on this one so far. Um, I will preface this by saying, like I did in my other videos, I didn't buy every Future State book, but I only picked up the ones that I liked. As, however, I will be giving little synopsises about the books. There are two that, there is one that I picked up that or didn't pick up that I was interested in, so I'll have to pick that up at another late in time. But anyway, with that being said, let's get started. The first book that came out in this way was Aquaman. It was a two-issue run, and the it's written by Brandon Thomas and art by Daniel Sampier and cover by Daniel Sampier. Um, it's basically a cro inner. It's a cro it's a adventure with. Jackson, who was the Aqua lad in the Young Justice cartoon, and also he's the son of Black Manta. He is the new Aquaman, and it also follows him and uh, Arthur and Mira's daughter, Andy Curry. The Aquaman book takes, uh, in the timeline-wise, that book takes place in... Looking at the timeline here. Twenty thirty. Um, a little bit. Uh, they cross inner. They do. They travel different oceans to different worlds, trying to get home. Um, Jackson is to take taken prisoner by a bunch of aliens and he ends up cutting her leg off to save him otherwise he was gonna get caught by a monster however he's broken out a number of times and this latest time he broke out he sees a bunch of small fish form together the words aqua woman is alive so that gives him renewed hope so he breaks out for a final time and says i can't keep the lady waiting so it's the next is probably gonna be him fighting the aliens out and finding andy um it, there is a little bit of a time skip because Andy in the Aquaman book is a bit younger than we see her in the 2040 Justice League book. So there is a bunch. So there is a time skip there. It's um, so there's something going on with that. Um, there is no backup story, at least as far as I know. So that's that one. The next one is Batman Superman. Pick this one up. It's also a two issue miniseries. It covers the early days of the Magistrate. Bru uh, Batman is still Bru uh, Bruce is still Batman. Clark is still alive and still Superman. He's not trapped on War World yet. This book takes place in 2025. So like I said, it's the very early days and it's basically a mystery. It's like a bunch of people are being taken captive. They're half human, half animal hybrids. They're trying to find out why and what's going on. I like the art. This is also a self-contained story. There is no, um, extra backup story. I like the dynamic between these two. This kind of reminds me of the Batman Superman book from the New 52. He fights a bunch of rats with laser vision. Um, kind of like how I said, um, very forgettable face. I used to pull a prank, a prank ever. I found a false face serum. It said, watch. You can pick whatever animal you want. Horse, anything. And, yeah. You'll see. Transforms into an animal. Also has an advertisement for a bunch of other stuff. House of L. The issue 2 of Superman Metropolis. Superman Worlds at War. Superman vs. Imperious Lex issue 2. Okay, variant covers, I'm guessing. Two issues. Unless this is, uh... How many books is that one? Okay, never mind. Wrong one. And then another car, Zorro Superwoman. Bruce is still Batman. Half human, half animals. They get a bunch of cyber cybers robots, or the Magistrate. You get a bunch of ads from the next books. They meet up with a Mr. Toad and a Peacekeeper and a bunch of the Peacekeepers. A bunch of ads for Justice League, Green Lantern, and Aquaman, issue two. There's a Mr. Toad. 
He's the leader of the false spaces, the half-human, half-animals. There was an original Mr. Toad. This guy took over for the other role. And, um... He's like, work with us. We can do this together. It's like, I'm sorry, Superman. I can't do that. And then he ends up, um... Stabbing Superman with a kryptonite knife. It was interesting. Read. This is just, I read this one other time beforehand. I was doing a little quick flip through both to show you the art and just to have plot points. Um, so, yeah. The, um, I like the book. I was happy I got it. I'll be definitely picking up issue two. I'll be curious to see where this goes in all timeline-wise, where everything fits in. I have some thoughts on Future State, but I'll be doing those after. I'll be reading some more of the books I'm interested in, and if some things don't get resolved, I'll give my thoughts on that as a total video. Um, running again from the line here, we have the next issue 2 of Dark Detective, which is Bruce's continuing adventure as the Dark Knight in the world. There's also a side story featuring Red Hood. Of course, as I said before, the Dark Detective book takes place in 2030. So a couple of years have gone by. No, no, sorry. Uh, 2027. Sorry, wrong one. The Red Hood story takes place in 2025. So very early on in the time slot. Uh, that's also with the Nightwing and uh, the Batman Catwoman book by DC Black. Label Arkham Knights, the Batgirl story... Batman, Superman, just a bunch of stuff. Um, so, yeah. Again, really enjoying this one so far. This has been one of my favorites. Issue 3, the next one coming out is um, he'll be crossing bass with Tim Fox Batman, so that'll be 2027. So I'll be curious to see that conflict going on there. Batman has assumed a new identity because as far as the world knows, Bruce is dead. Uh, Red Hood is working for the Magistrate. And he's very much taking in criminals dead or alive. He's, sort of, he's pretty much like a bounty hunter, basically. Uh, he's dating Rose Wilson Ravager. At the end of the, book, at the, end of the Red Hood story, it, he's been... He's the next target they're wanting to bring in. So that's going to be interesting to see the conflict between him and Rose. I really like the book. It's one of my favorites. The next book after that one is Legion of Superheroes. Never really been a Legion of Superheroes fan since I, so I can't really get much about that one. However, I will say for timeline-wise, that book takes place in the year 3000. So very, very far off. The, and, um in the future, far future. Legion has to come back together. Some stuff happens. And this next one here is the Suicide Squad. This takes place in 2030 alongside the Aquaman book. Black Racer, which one of the side stories in Superman Worlds at War. Justice League Dark, which was the side story in Justice League. Metropolis Midnighter, side story in the Superman Worlds at War book. Mr. Miracle. Superman and Metropolis book, and also was another story in the Superman Worlds at War. Suicide Squad, which is this one, The Black Adam. There's a side story there. That takes place in 82,020. So, also in the far future. Uh, 2030 is also Superman and Metropolis, Superman Worlds at War, and the Nubia story in the Immortal Wonder Woman book. I really like the art on this one. This one's basically about here for a bunch of villains that have taken over heroes' mantles on a alternate earth this is actually the earth three Clayface is the martian manhunter there's the i'm guessing maybe granddaughter or descendant of the original flash eubard thawn because her name's bolt the fisher king who's an aquaman villain talon from the batman court of owls story is the new batman hypnotic woman i want to say her name is she has assumed the appearance of Diana, because you never really see it. It's more like a hologram. And the Superman in this one's Connor Kent. Um, Batman kind of steps over, bounds a little bit of his talon. He gets his head blown off. And some things ensue. Amanda wants to go after Connor. Says, I want you to start acting more like Lex versus Clark, or I'm going to have to put you down. And we'll activate Task Force Z, which they're on Earth-3, so that's the uh, crime syndicate. 
which is the parallel Earth of the Justice League, but they're all evil. So, yeah. And at the end of the book, uh, a sick Black Manta's fighting a bunch of people, and that's real to be the Earth-1 Suicide Squad that's, back, that's gone after to take Amanda Waller back to Earth-1. And the side story here is Black Adam. He's been living in peace for a very long time. He sees the Justice League... Um, another Justice League, he encounters them, there's a bunch of, um, some things happen with them, they encounter the seven deadly sins, Black Adam is forced to use his powers again, um, he and that, and that Justice League's Wonder Woman are going to be parents, she's uh, told them that she's pregnant, but apparently that Wonder Woman's made of stone, so she's not exactly human, so however that works out, but so that'll be interesting, he doesn't have to fight just for himself anymore, but for his wife and their child. So I'll be curious to see how that story plays out. Um, so yeah. Overall, um, also after that I probably missed something. Um, oh yeah, Superman vs. Imperious Lex. It's also in the far future. Not in the far future, that's a three issue miniseries. So the covers were for issues two and three. And that story takes place place in 2050 so after some time has passed the Yara Floor Wonder Woman uh, uh, a car Zor-El Superwoman and that one so Superman's a lot older uh, pretty much the world's in, pa in peace and utopia the conflict still happens between uh, Superman and Lex um, he's very old, uh, Lex is very older now, he left Earth because he always had troubles with Superman, of course, he's very old, but he uses a young Lex Luthor face mask, don't know if his face got scarred or something, that's why he wears it, I don't know, um, they, the council members all don't want Lex to be on their council for peace, but, uh, Lois wants to give him a chance, so they elect her to go talk to him, basically. And a few things happen in between, but I won't spoil it. And so I don't want you guys to read it if you're for yourselves. It's actually really interesting. But anyway, um, that's my little look. See at this next wave of Future State. Overall, I liked the books here I've seen present. I also enjoyed Superman vs. Imperious Lex. Um, and with that, that'll take place in it. I'll be showing the other books later on. At some point, I'll get around doing books on these individually. But anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys like this little look-see here and my thoughts. Uh, comment below your favorite Future State book that you've been reading. If you've been reading this event at all, or are you just trying to wait for things to go back to normal. But anyway, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Do all those normal YouTube things. Like, comment, subscribe, and when you subscribe, click that bell notification to turn your settings on for all. And until then, I will see you guys next time with another Future State video. Until then, have a good rest of your day, and peace.